Okay, for this question, um, Marcus started saving. Can someone please help me put a screen down? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, be gentle, be gentle. Okay, Marcus started savings by putting two coins in a money box every day. He actually put two coins. Each coin can either be a 10 cent or 50 cent coin. We don't know what coin. It can be 10 cent 50, or 50 cent. His father also put in a 20 cent coins in the box every four days. The total value of the coins after 136 days was $84.40. Okay? Now, out of this $84.40, right, part of it is contributed by Marcus, part of it is contributed by the father, father correct? Okay? So, we want to know how many coins were there together, all together. Okay? Very simple. Now, we know that 136 days, every 4 days, right, the dad will put in one four, uh, 20 cent coins, right? So, you need to know how many sets of 4 days are there. So 136 divided by 4 will be 34. So this is the number of coins that the father put in, right? Okay? And then we need to take into consideration that Marcus put in 2 coins every day. So 2 times 136 days plus 34. This part will be contributed by Marcus. This part by the father, right? Yes? So how many coins all together? 306. Yes, uh, Lauren? Okay, so uh, Lauren was asking, when Marcus put in the two coins, right? Does it mean that both coins must be 10 cent or both coins must be 50 cent or it can be either 1 10 cent, 1 50 cents? Actually, it can be in any combination. Can be 2 10 cents, 2 50 cents or 1 10 cent, 1 50 cent. Okay, there's no restriction. Yes? So, if we either put 20 cents, 60 cents or 1 dollar? Correct. Do you all hear uh, what Beyonce say? Every day, he could either put in 20 cents 60 cents, 60 cents, why? Because of 1 10 cents and 1 50 cents, right? Or 1 dollar because of 2 50 cents. Okay, is the question clear so far? But do you agree with me that the answer for, for part A is 306? Okay, because uh, 136 days, each day 2 coins by markers will be multiplied by 2 plus the 34 coins contributed by the dead. Okay, now the second part. How many coins were 50 cent coins? Okay, to do part B, right? Okay, we know that the total value of the coins was $84.40. Okay, out of this $84.40, how much, as in how much in terms of value, uh, is contributed by the debt? Can we find? Yeah. We can, right? Okay, because the debt, right, is actually 34 multiplied by, what's the value of the debt's coin? How many per coin? 20 cents, right? So how much did the debt contribute altogether? So we know that the debt contributed $6.80. Okay? So we need to remove the amount that's contributed by the debt. So $84.40 minus $6.80 we get how much? So this is the one contributed by Marcus, right? Yes or no? So, out of this money contributed by Marcus, how much is, how many 10 cent coins are there and how many 50 cent coins are there? From here, right, actually it's very straightforward. There's only one method of solving. Okay? It's not set, right? It is assumption or supposition, right? Correct or wrong? Because we can assume all coins are 50 cent coins, right or wrong? Correct? Assume all coins are 50 cents. Okay, assume all 50 cents. So, 50 cent coins 
10 cent coins. This is the number. This is the total value. Okay. Now, we know that the total number of coins that uh, Marcus contributed is 136 times 2, right? Which is 272. So the total coins is 272. Right? If there's 272 50 cent coins, how many 10 cent coins will there be? Zero. Zero. Correct. And the total value is 272 times 50 cents. And we actually get how much, sorry? $136, right? But we know that he did not save $136. Okay? Let's exchange one fifty cent coin with one twenty cent coin. So 271. Yeah, why? If you are start, you have been learning with me for like half a year, and you still think that this is guess and check. But it isn't guess and check is when you guess two different, the two numbers that's cl as close to the middle as possible, right? And you try to move up and down, right? That's how I guess and check is, right? Wrong. This is definitely not right. Guess and check. Okay. So the next step is, of course, we write uh, 271, right? Okay. And then we have one. One uh, 10 cent coin. So we have 271 times 50 cents. It's a bit laggy. Okay, plus you have 10 cent, right? Correct. And what do you get? And what do you get? 135.6, right? Correct. So you have 135.60. So you know that it's a decrease of how much? 40 cents, right? When you do a one coin, one to one exchange, 150 cent to 110 cent, Okay, the total value dropped by 40 cents. Correct? But we know that from $136 to $7.60, what's the drop in value? How much? From $135.60 to $76. And, uh, sorry, $136 to $76.60. $58.40, right? Correct or wrong? From 136 to 135.60, the decrease is... You have $135... Sorry, $136 to $77.60. The drop is how much? So you need to minus 40 cents how many times? Do you understand what I mean? So the next step will be 58.40 divided by 40 cents and what do you get? 146. So I know that my 10 cents will be 146, right? Yes or no? And then 272 minus 146 is how much? One, one, two, six. Okay, so what is the question asking for? How many of the coins were 50 cents coins? It's 126. Understand or not? Normally, do we stop here? Do we stop like this? We must check. Correct or wrong? So, how do we check, Kaden?
So we check by using 126 times 50 cents plus 146 times 10 cents, right? And then we must definitely get how much? Jing Kai. We must definitely get $7.60. Anyone has any problem with this question? Okay? If not, then I'm going to move on to the next question. So if you notice, uh, the next question is so simple, 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 okay? You cannot have this impression that oh, PSI is definitely very, very simple. It's not true. Okay? It's equally tough, okay, compared to our, our school paper. So you must be mentally prepared. Okay, let's look at question three. Anyone has any problem with question three? Okay, so you should all know that you all need a lot more preparation. Huh? Okay, question uh, three. One dishwasher took 50 minutes, while another took 70 minutes to wash the same number of plates. Alright, same number of plates. Right? The faster dishwasher washed four more plates per minute than the slower one. Okay, four more plates per minute than the slower one. So one minute, right? So for one minute, we know that the faster, slower one will actually wash four more plates, right? Correct or wrong? Yeah. Now, how long did the faster wash, dishwasher wash all together? Uh, Gabriel. What was my question, Gabriel? Yeah, what's the total time it did the... 50 minutes, correct? Yeah. The faster wa dishwasher wash a total of how many minutes? 50 minutes, right? It operates for 50 minutes. So if I'm looking at 50 minutes, the faster dishwasher, right, would have washed 50 times 4, which is 200 more plates than the slower dishwasher, yes or no? Okay. The faster dishwasher would have washed 200 more plates than the slower one. But eventually, the slower one need to wash, finish all the plates, yes or no? And that means the slower one need to, because you can see that the slower one took an extra 20 minutes, right? So during these 20 minutes, how many plates must the slower dishwasher wash? Ernest. You heard the question, right? Repeat the question to me. Very good. Okay. Right. Sky. He only washed five in 20 minutes. <laughs> the slower dishwasher only washed five plates in the, in the 20 minutes. Remember, I already slowed down a lot already. Huh? Colin Chi, tell me. You know, the first thing what Clarence did was he slept himself. Yeah. Next time, save the slap for Colin Chi, okay? When I'm not looking. Okay? So, hey, Colin Chi, do you even hear my question? Which dishwasher? My question is, uh, very simple. How many plates ma <laughs> Okay, who agrees with him? He say 200. Raise your hand. I think I don't agree. Uh. Don't know? Unsure? It's okay if you are unsure, but please put down your hand. Jing Kai, 
Why do you think that Colin Chi say uh, the, the slower dishwasher must wash 200 plates in 20 minutes? Okay, so I re-explain what is he trying to say. Why is it that, okay, because you know that at a 50 minute mark, right, the faster with dishwasher will wash finish everything. Okay, whereas the slow one has not wash finish everything, right, it still need to wash for another 20 minutes, right. The 20 minutes that is, the extra 20 minutes that it needs to wash, right, is to catch up on the plates, right, that it did not manage to wash finish, right. So the, the number of plates to catch up is how many uh, plates, Kaden? 200, you understand why or not? Everyone can understand? So you know that the slower one needs to wash 200 in 20 minutes. So in one minute, how many did the, dishwasher, the slower dishwasher wash? 10, right? Correct wrong. Do you agree? So the slower, the slower dishwasher the slower one uh, is 10 plates per minute. Then the faster one is 14 plates per minute. Everyone have the common understanding with me that this is correct? So, we know that a slower dishwasher completed the job at 11.05. At what time was the washing started? The first question actually more of a time question, right? You just need to work backwards uh, 70 minutes, right? So if you work backwards, you need to draw a timeline, okay? In case the presentation, you are unsure, okay, I've seen that the uh, presentation is still a bit poor on time. So we start off 11.05. We subtract 60 minutes. Okay? It's 10, uh, 10.05, right? Then minus 10 minutes. Okay? It's actually 9.55. Okay? 9.55 a.m. Okay, remember the unit is on 9.55 a.m. Right? Then part B. What was the total number of plates washed by the two dishwasher? So since you know that the faster one washed 14 plates per minute, altogether it washes 15 minutes, right? Very wrong. So 40 times 15, uh, uh, 50, sorry. But then... Because they wash equal number of plates, right? I just need times two, right? So it's 1,400 plates. Okay, this is for part B. This is for part A. Uh, sorry, this is for part A. Remember to write your units. AM. This is for part A. Anyone has any problem with this question? Yes? Your timeline is different from mine, most probably wrong. Uh. There's very few ways to draw a timeline, really. Also can, uh, also can. Right. Can. Normally, it will not go too wrong. Okay? When you start do, uh, goes to time, uh, please do not use addition, subtraction, sign, all that. Uh. Okay? Right? Anyone has any question? If yeah, you can. Any questions? If not, I'm going to stop here for today. No? Okay, we'll stop here.